All right, howdy there, fellow Shadowverse. We are going to go over add-ons very quickly. And when I say quickly, we're really just going to skim through this and talk about the add-ons I have and what they do. We'll start off with um, alphabetical order here. You know, let's just go, let's just keep it really chill. We've got ability team tracker. Very simple. It tracks the cooldowns of your party members. So if I invite someone to group and they, uh, I don't know if anyone will actually accept my invite. Let's see. But if you invite someone to group, it'll show their cooldowns next to the party frame. Evoker, I think I don't track a lot of cooldowns. I don't really know what they do, guys. I don't know. It's been 30 days into playing this game, and I really I can't tell you what what they do. But that's a cool add-on. That'll be effective. You can see trinkets. You can see other stuff. Um, so, okay, so now we got him in the group. We are going to keep moving down the list. We also have advanced interface options. This will give you to give you options to alter things in the interface that might not be in there manually. Uh, big debuffs, really solid. Anytime you use a cooldown or you're targeting someone, you'll see, like, I'm targeting myself. I've got dispersion up. It'll let you know, like, hey, these are kind of important things to look out for. There's so many buffs in this game. What is actually should be on the forefront of your mind? And if I press power infusion, I will also see that, wow, I'm bursting right now. This is crazy. And this is the beauty of add-ons is that they synthesize information for you because there's too much information and you don't want to overload your, your cognitive load there. So it's just kind of saying like, hey, here's here's what's important. Watch out for this. Going, Let's keep going down the list. Just alphabetical details. This will show, um, you know, the details will show your damage so you can look back and be like, wow, I really, my damage kind of sucked that game. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? And you can look around and kind of see like what the the situations were like if you're not top on the damage every time you should be ashamed you should be embarrassed and you know you kind of want to see what's working out like sometimes you might see hey psychic link did a bunch of stuff and um yeah that's pretty much uh pretty much it look look at details you can see like what you hit what's working what's not working love to modify the talents and mess around with that you can also see cool things like the death log and like wow we really bursted this guy down with this spell, or this is how we landed our kill. You can look at the number of times you purged. I think that's always fun to look at. Like, hey, man, why didn't we kill this team? Well, maybe sometimes we didn't purge a lot. So you can, there's a lot of information to analyze. And as someone who like previously studied statistics in college and kind of worked in a research lab, this stuff is cool, man. It's so cool to, to have all that data to quantify and you can do a lot of research there and some hit the university of shadow priest pvp because you can learn a lot there going through details diminish this is going to track when i am on dr so diminish will show when i'm on stun dr and i think they just updated this so if you guys were using this previously make sure to update that um but yeah so if i can see hey i'm on i'm on sheep dr right now like i'm immune to sheep i don't have to shadow or death here or Okay, I'm off of stun DR and the rogue has kidney shot. I need to kind of be careful and not run behind the pillar. Just little things to let you know, like when you're immune to CC will help you out in, in higher end uh, arena. So definitely recommend using diminish. Back on the add-ons, doom cooldown pulse. I probably get this one more than anything. It's whenever your cooldowns come off cooldown, it just flashes in the middle of your screen. And if we wait, uh, you know, 25 seconds, I'm sure that the shadow crash will come back up so let's stay tuned for that uh going back through it handy notes this is um this is like a pve leveling thing dragon glyphs if you want to get your dragon glyphs i guess while you're leveling that's helpful i morph people are always asking me about this one i don't want to advertise this too much because it is against tos and you probably will get banned and die if you use it so i would avoid using that but if you're wondering how i change my morphs and there we go there's the shadow crash just coming off cooldown if you're wondering why Hey man, why do you have the human racial, but you're playing as a male drain eye? Well, that's because I'm using iMorph and I'm hacking and I probably will get banned. So be aware of that. Going through add-ons, Leatrix. This is just like a quality of life add-on. So it makes it easier to do things. I don't really know what those things are, but I've been told that it's good. So I have it. And then my slot, my slot is cool. If you ever want to export, you know, like, Hey, I just made this fresh alt and I really love my UI or if someone wants my UI. I can just copy this and then paste it to them and boom, they have all my binds and all my everything. So that's a fun add on, especially when you're like transferring servers or, or trying to figure shit out like that. Omni CC just puts a, a number on your action bars. And I think that blizzard has this in the default UI now. So you might not need this. You might not, but I have it for the throwback. Omni CD is the same thing as arena team tracker. It probably actually is better. So maybe recommend that one over arena team tracker Raider IO. I really only use this because it shows me how long I have to join the queue <laughs> or no Raider. IO. no, actually don't even use this. 
De Deadly Boss Mods is the one that I use, so I don't even use that. S Arena Updated. Uh, this one is chill because Gladius and um, S Arena were both broken for a while, but now if you look up and find S Arena Updated on CurseForge, you'll find it out. I actually really like the way the frames look. I think they're really clean. They look a little different in the game because obviously all this stuff isn't going to be active at the same time. Um, but yeah, I do like that. So if you go into Cur CurseForge, you should be able to find all of these add-ons. And I just try to keep them updated. You know, press the update all button every other day and you'll you'll be set up to go. So if you look out, S Arena. S Arena um, updated. That's the one you want. Keep going through the list. We're going to get to the good ones here. It's about to get juicy. I can feel it. Uh, simple Combat Logger. I don't really know what that does. I don't think you need that. Shared Media. I don't know what that does either. I would ignore these. Snowfall Key Press. I don't even think this works anymore. Tell me when. This is the big daddy. This is... um. What, what everybody thinks I have as a weak aura is actually just a tell me when aura. So I've made all of my old, my own tell me when auras here. Like I never want to let my unfurling darkness proc fall. So I'm tracking that. Very simple. You just type in what do you want to track? I want to track my unfurling darkness proc. And then if you type it here, it'll just pop up and then you click it and that'll cement it there with the little, um, God, what, what am I thinking, man? Is that a semicolon? Yes. Okay. Semicolon. You want to use your little semicolon that way it solidifies it there and then also click the player the semicolon basically just means that it's um you can add another target so if i wanted to track unfurling darkness i'm gonna do that purposely but also um there's other stuff to track too like when i have insidious ire buff and i'll always you want to show the timer show the timer text show the buff that way you can see the duration um dark evangelism some stuff i don't really play but whatever devouring plague i sometimes i track the debuff so that i'm able to quickly dispel i sometimes i track when i'm intervened so that i know that i can't get interrupted by melee sometimes i track earthen wall to make sure i don't run out of it track death mark to make sure i don't get one shot like there's just little things nullifying shroud so i don't cc into it you can pretty much add whatever you want which is awesome it's very customizable it's a lot easier to use than weak auras i can't share these with you guys i've tried to export these um strings before and it just doesn't work so if you want to try i don't know i'll, I'll make a can try to paste it and, and i can send it to you but otherwise it's really easy to set up on your own just try to play around with it make sure you're enabling all this stuff and then also one thing to look out for is depending on what you want to track if it's a buff or a debuff just make sure you have the right one selected there um, then going into say weak auras is the next one i basically use two weak auras i use mez dragonflight arena um, weak auras which i'll put in the description and then i also have a devouring plague weak aura that i don't have active but it'll tell you when you're above the insanity cap, or um, sure, when you have enough insanity to press it. And then I use um, Preston's Catharsis, which is pretty nice, I would say. Like, it lets you know when Catharsis has damage ramped, and it glows up when you need to use it. So those are the two weak auras I use, and they can be found in the description as well. Then going through uh, Wargame Helper. <clears throat> For some reason, if you want a wargame, you can you can find that here, man. You can wargame your, your Battle.net friends. It's pretty chill. Uh, yeah, weak auras. Reflex is cool. It'll show you like the history of your arena. You can kind of see like, wow, I did really great as this comp or on this map. We do really well. It'll show you your win loss. You can sort it by the MMR. You can kind of see like, wow, I was 2600 a couple days ago. And then uh, <laughs> maybe yesterday I was 2200. It's just like, damn, sometimes it's the ups and downs of arena, man. Sometimes you're just you're 2483 and then you're 2259, but that's all good. We got that even Steven win loss coming in at a solid 55 and 55, and it's all good, man. We're you know we're gonna bounce back. And reflex is the cool. Again, if you love data, if you love nerding out, you can see like, oh, how long was that game? What do we do on this map? And you can kind of think about that in a in a cool analytical way. Um, Deadly boss mods. This just shows me how long I have to join the arena queue, and I think that's pretty much it in terms of add-ons. We'll do a macro video soon, but I know a lot of people ask me about my add-ons. How do I set up my UI? All that stuff. Um, if you want to know about my raid frames, I get that question a lot. You just basically go to uh, edit mode. Then you're going to click use raid style party frames. And then once you've done that, you can adjust your height, you can adjust your width. And then you'll go after that. It's actually annoying. If you go into two separate things, you go to options, interface, um, and then there should be display raid frames and you want to enable power bars so your healer's mana pets if you want to see pets class colors just to make it smooth and organized 
And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can do display only dispellable debuffs if you only want to know what you own MD. That might be helpful. And then my UI, I just like to have everything centered. So I have my my character frame, my, my raid frames here, and then my arena frames here. So I'm only really looking at, like, I know you can't see, like, where my hands are in relation to the screen, but if I could just draw, like, a line right here, I'm only really looking at, like, this part of my screen. Everything else is kind of clutter. So this is, like, I kind of play on my, like, little, like, TikTok screen right here. And I'm looking at the weak auras. I'm looking at the uh, the damage. And I'm looking at the internet bar. So I, everything is pretty centralized. I wouldn't recommend having, like, your frames up here and then, like, your casting bar here and then your gladius over here. Like, that's just too spaced out i think the best way to to play it out is almost like you're you're juggling where you know let me try to find some things to juggle here i got one two three things okay this will either either be cool or an epic fail but basically when you're juggling you never want to tunnel one thing too much because then you all of a sudden you can't catch the other thing you want to really have everything going in a fluid motion and i'm like basically blindly i wouldn't say blindly i'm like I'm staring into space, but I'm not actually tracking anything. The moment I start tracking, then I start like, holy shit, now I'm getting interrupted and I can't focus. So I kind of just have like a a gaze in the middle of my screen and it's like a Buddhist awareness. Whatever comes into consciousness comes into consciousness and you have to be able to notice it and adapt to it without letting your emotions overpower your decisions. And then don't punch a hole in your wall when you get CC'd for a million years and then you can't cast and then you're trying to cast the mind games and they spell reflect you and you're just like, oh my god, man. So... Um, if anything, learn how to juggle, and then you should be good on the Chef Priest arena. But that's um, that's pretty much it for the Mac or the UI video, guys. I don't know if you made it this far in the video. You got to see the juggling, and I hope that was fun for you. But if not, whatever. I have this video available, and it'll pop up anytime someone does exclamation point UI in uh, Twitch. So catch me on Twitch, and I'll be uh, I'll be on tonight and tomorrow and probably the next day too. So peace out. And also, if you want to see, there's a cat over here too.